Silicon monoxide is the chemical compound with the formula CO where silicon is present in the oxidation state plus 2. In the vapor phase it is a diatomic molecule. It has been detected in stellar objects and it has been described as the most common oxide of silicon in the universe. When CO gas is cooled rapidly, it condenses to form a brown, black polymeric glassy material, CO -N, which is available commercially and used to deposit films of CO. Glassy CO -N is air and moisture sensitive. Its surface readily oxidizes in air at room temperature, giving an silicon oxide surface layer that protects the material from further oxidation. However, CO -N irreversibly disproportionates into silicon oxide and C in a few hours between 400 and 800 degrees Celsius, and very rapidly between 1000 and 1440 degrees Celsius, although the reaction does not go to completion. Formation of CO The first precise report on the formation of CO was in 1887 by the chemist Charles F. Mabry at the Case School of Applied Science in Cleveland. Mabry claimed that CO formed as an amorphous greenish-yellow substance with a vitreous luster when silica was reduced with charcoal in the absence of metals in an electric furnace. The substance was always found at the interface between the charcoal and silica particles. By investigating some of the chemical properties of the substance, its specific gravity, and a combustion analysis, Mabry deduced that the substance must be CO. The equation representing the partial chemical reduction of silicon oxide with C can be represented as silicon oxide plus CCO plus co-complete reduction of silicon oxide with twice the amount of carbon yields elemental silicon and twice the amount of carbon monoxide. In 1890, the German chemist Clemens Winkler the discoverer of germanium was the first to attempt to synthesize CO by heating silicon dioxide with silicon in a combustion furnace. Silicon oxide plus C2 show however, Winkler was not able to produce the monoxide since the temperature of the mixture was only around 1000 degrees Celsius. The experiment was repeated in 1905 by Henry Noel Potter (1869–1942), a Westinghouse engineer. Using an electric furnace, Potter was able to attain a temperature of 1,700 degrees Celsius and observe the generation of CO. Potter also investigated the properties and applications of the solid form of CO. Because of the volatility of CO, silica can be removed from ores or minerals by heating them with silicon to produce gaseous CO in this manner. However, due to the difficulties associated with accurately measuring its vapor pressure, and because of the dependency on the specifics of the experimental design, various values have been reported in the literature for the vapor pressure of CO -G. For the PSIO above molten silicon in a quartz silicon oxide crucible at the melting point of silicon, one study yielded a value of 0.002 atmospheres. For the direct vaporization of pure, amorphous CO solid, 0.001 atmospheres has been reported. For a coating system, at the phase boundary between silicon oxide and a silicide, 0.01 atmospheres was reported. Silica itself, or refractories containing silicon oxide, can be reduced with H2 or CO at high temperatures, e.g., Silicon oxide S plus H2 G CO G plus H2O G as the CO product volatilizes off is removed, the equilibrium shifts to the right, resulting in the continued consumption of silicon oxide. Based on the dependence of the rate of silica weight loss on the gas flow rate normal to the interface, the rate of this reduction appears to be controlled by convective diffusion or mass transfer from the reacting surface. Gaseous molecular CO Silicon monoxide molecules have been trapped in an argon matrix cooled by helium. In these conditions, the CO bond length is between 148.9 pm and 151 pm. This bond length is similar to the length of C equals O double bonds 148 pm in the matrix isolated linear molecule silicon oxide O equals C equals O, indicative of the absence of a triple bond as in carbon monoxide. However, the CO triple bond has a calculated bond length of 150 pm and a bond energy of 794 kJ per mole, which are also very close to those reported for CO. The CO double bond structure is, notably, an exception to Lewis. 
octet rule for molecules composed of the light main group elements, whereas the CO triple bond satisfies this rule. That anomaly notwithstanding, the observation that monomeric CO is short lived and that CO n oligomers with n equals 2, 3, 4, 5 are known, all having closed ring structures in which the silicon atoms are connected through bridging oxygen atoms, i.e., each oxygen atom is singly bonded to two silicon atoms, no CC bonds, suggests the C equals O double bond structure, with a hypovalent silicon atom, is likely for the monomer, condensing molecular CO in argon matrix together with fluorine, chlorine, or carbonyl sulfide, cuz, followed by irradiation with light, produces the planar molecules OSIF2 with CO distance 148 pm and OSICl2 CO149 pm and the linear molecule OSIS CO149 pm CS190 pm matrix isolated molecular CO reacts with oxygen atoms generated by microwave discharge to produce molecular silicon oxide which has a linear structure when metal atoms such as Na, Al, Pd, Ag, and O are co-deposited with CO, triatomic molecules are produced with linear Alcio and PdSiO, nonlinear Agzio and Osio, and ring Nazio structures. Solid polymeric CO. Potter reported CO solid as yellowish brown in color and as being an electrical and thermal insulator. The solid burns in oxygen and decomposes water with the liberation of hydrogen. It dissolves in warm alkali hydroxides and in hydrofluoric acid. Even though Potter reported the heat of combustion of CO to be 200 to 800 calories higher than that of an equilibrium mixture of C and silicon oxide which could, arguably, be used as evidence that CO is a unique chemical compound, some studies characterized commercially available solid silicon monoxide materials as an inhomogeneous mixture of amorphous silicon oxide and amorphous C with some chemical bonding at the interface of the C and silicon oxide phases. Recent spectroscopic studies in a correlation with Potter's report suggest that commercially available solid silicon monoxide materials cannot be considered as an inhomogeneous mixture of amorphous silicon oxide and amorphous C. References, <references>